All right, what do you say, guys? Hello, hello, hello. Midday, midday stuff. Let's talk um, about this up and down table. Let's talk a little bit about worry. You know, let's talk a little bit about worry. And I want to talk to you a little bit about worry from a perspective of what I think worry does to people, okay? There are certain things that help people out. There are certain traits that you need to have if you're going to be successful, right? And you hear me talk about them all the time, you know, the waking up early, the, 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 the physical condition, all this. I want to talk to you about something that prevents people from being successful. And that is this whole thing to do with worry. You know, I think worry in of itself, I think worry in of itself paralyzes people. I think worry in of itself stops people in, its, in their tracks, right? I think worry, I think worry gets people to the point that they can no longer move forward. I think worry is an awful, awful thing to have, even if you're not trying to be successful. But I'll tell you, if you are trying to be successful, right? If you are trying to be successful, I think worry is a barrier that some people can't even overcome. Now, let's face it, some people can work through stuff, right? There's a lot of people that can work through issues and good and bad, but I'll be honest with you. Worry, worry is one of those things that a lot of people cannot work through, right? I, hey, I don't perform good under the worry scenario, right? I don't function well when I'm worried. Anxiety, worry, I think all these things kind of fall in line, right? They fall into place. So I'm going to show you something that could literally turn it around. Like right now, I could, I'm going to show you something. Okay, right now, I'm going to show you something that could flip all of this upside down, okay? I could really show you something that's going to flip all this stuff upside down. And I tell you what, it's, it's something that I don't even know if I learned this. If I, I think I more or less kind of came into this by accident some time ago. When I would worry, and I'm telling you this, like right now, right now you could turn your whole life around. You ready? Who's ready to turn their life around? Let me see some hearts. Who's ready to do it? Who's ready to turn totally, totally, totally around? Because I'm going to give you something right now that literally could take the worry, could literally take the worry, boom, right out of your world. So here's what happened. Here's how you got to look at worry, right? Worry does not happen like this. Because worry is an emotion, it builds up, right? It builds up. Worry literally builds up. It may take no more than five, 10 seconds for you to think about something, right? It might literally take no more than five to 10 seconds for you to think about it, and then you get into that worry mode, right? But it doesn't happen instantaneously, okay? It doesn't happen in instantaneously, okay? So here's, here's how you stop yourself from worrying. As soon as that thought, and worry is always an emotional thought, right? Worry is always an emotional thought. We know that, right? It's an emotional, and it's always a thought that gets you start because you start thinking about it, start thinking about it, start thinking about it, and it gets worse, 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 and worse. So watch this. Here it is. Here's the trick right here. As soon as you start feeling that, as soon as that starts creeping in, as soon as you at all, that first second, you got to stop it. You got to consciously stop it. Just like you unconsciously, right? Just like you unconsciously let yourself go in that direction, you have to consciously, you have to consciously stop yourself and catch yourself. All right? So again, I haven't, I haven't uh, uh, been, you know, I don't, I don't really get into the anxious mode, anxiety mode, worry mode too much, but every once in a while I do. And I'll be honest with you, for the last couple of days I was, I, there were some things in my mind and you know, when they start boom, boom, boom. And, and I don't function well when I'm worried. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, I do not function well when I'm worried. So this morning, I did my early morning routine, you know, up around 4, 4.30, getting an advantage on my competition, right? So, um, 
What did I do? I started, I, I started kind of sort of going to the worry mode. But guess what? This time, that very first second, that very first second, I physically caught it and I physically internally said, no, stop. And I said, quit being a blankety blank to myself. And I did not get past that one second. I literally stopped it in its tracks. See, when that worry starts, it got one of two directions to go. It's got one direction is it's gonna take over. It's gonna absolutely take over and it's gonna dominate. That's one direction. The second direction, the second direction is boom, you could stop it. And because it's an emotion, emotions can be stopped. That's the great thing about emotions. Physicality sometimes can't, right? Somebody hits you in the head, boom, that's gonna hurt. But emotions, emotions we can stop. So literally this morning, and I've probably done it, believe it or not, about 100 times already, but that one crazy thought, okay, that one crazy thought started, and within a second, I just said, quit being a blankety blank. Quit bling being a blankety blank, and I stopped it right in its tracks. I'm telling you, it works. It works. And then what happens over a period of time, you just condition your body. You literally condition your body to do that automatically. See, I'm not in automatic mode today yet, just because I haven't really been in a worried mode for a while, and then in the last couple of days I got into it. So now, now, now I'm able to catch it. Able to catch it, able to identify it right away. And literally with that first second when you just feel, right, because emotion creeps in, just that first second when you feel that you're leaning in that direction, boom. I catch it and I physically stop it. I stop it, I verbalize it. No, no, quit being a blankety blank, right? And it comes to an end like that. It literally comes to an end like that. I'm telling you, worry is an awful thing. It's a paralyzing thing. It's a paralyzing thing and I've seen the act of worry put people into very, very, very bad areas, bad places, but the good thing is it could be stopped in its tracks. Number one, we always worry about things that haven't even happened yet. We always over worry about, okay? We always over worry, we always worry too much. So guys, I'm telling you, stop it in its tracks. If you got a question, type it in. Go to the question mark at the bottom and type in a question, okay? and type in a question, and I'll get it on this side. Guys, take worry out of your lives like that. I mean, literally, today you could decide, today you could decide that, heck, I'm stopping worrying today. You just gotta catch it. You gotta catch it on the front front, okay? Here's a good one. How do you identify the difference between worry and a bad instinct you should have listened to? That's a good one. That's a good one. Reality is this. Reality is this. Most of the things we worry about, we over-exaggerate, we over-blow, we overthink. Okay? But an instinct, I don't think, I don't think it's necessarily a worry. An instinct you should probably go with. A worry is when you worry about an event that hasn't happened yet, that you and your mind have built up to be the most disastrous event in the world, and it'll be nothing like that, but you're gonna worry about it and worry about it and worry about it and worry about it. Now, here's something else I'll tell you. This is a good question. I like it, Brandon. Um, do something about it, okay? The problem with just worrying, if you just stay in the worried mode and don't do anything about it, that's where the problem comes in. If you got an instinct about something or someone, a situation, act upon it. But don't just sit, okay, don't just sit and worry about it is my point. If you got an instinct and you feel pretty good about that instinct and you feel like you gotta really, really, really follow through, okay, then act upon it, okay? Act upon it, but, but, Worry for worrisome, okay, worry for just worry's sake, 
okay? Worry just for worry's sake, that's what I'm talking about. And by the way, that's the, that's the, that's the stuff that'll drive you insane. All right, how do you avoid the trap of wishful thinking? Um, again, just like Brandon was asking me, action, activity, okay? Wishful thinking is just that, just in your mind. Everything is just in my mind. I'm gonna be successful one day. In my mind, I'm gonna make a million dollars. In my mind, what are you doing about it? Nothing, that's wishful thinking. But if you're actually taking action steps to pursue success, okay? If you're actually taking action steps to pursue success, then that's how you get over wishful thinking, okay? All right, guys. Anyway, that's all I have for right now. But this thing with worry, it's a big one. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, listen to this and re-listen to it if you have to. But it works. You could stop worrying its tracks like that. All right, guys, thank you. I appreciate the follow, the support. Remember, Peter of Excellent, real estate investor. I partner with people. I do deals with them. I'm actively looking for more partners to do real estate deals with, okay? I'll coach you. I'll generate leads for you. I'll provide you capital. And then when we sell them, we split the profits down the middle. I think it's the best thing going in real estate investing. If you want to learn more, DM me the word partner. DM me the word partner. All right, guys, thanks. I appreciate it. Have an amazing day. We'll talk soon. Bye.